Yo guys, I got a question for you. Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to open 30 reroll packs? I have, and I'm gonna wonder how it turns out. If you haven't wondered what it's like to open 30 reroll packs, hang out, check it out. Maybe you're worth investing your uh, your silver players into. But this will be 30 reroll packs, guys. So if that doesn't interest you, maybe this video isn't for you. But the outcome could be massive. So maybe you wanna stick it out and see if it's worth doing for yourself. If you do like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Hit in the comment section down below if you've done reroll sets. And what is the biggest thing you've pulled out of a reroll set? Because I'm curious. Maybe I'm going to get a massive pull. Maybe not. Only one way to find out. So let's get into it. I hope you do enjoy it. Here we go, guys. Exciting, isn't it? 30 reroll packs. Bunch of gold players. You know, 60 of them to be exact. What are these 60 gold players going to give us? 79 right now is our best pull. How long until 79 isn't our best pull? We'll have to wait and see. But 79 is our best pull right now. And it's staying that way. For this pack at least. We'll have to wait and see what the next pack gives us. But yeah, here we go. Big one, big one, big one. And uh, we're at the C84 overall. That one will be a, a very long time before Sarah Filler is not the best pull in this pack. 84 overall in a silver reroll. That is, that's pretty good. That's not what I expected. I really didn't know what I expected here, but uh, an 84 overall, I would confidently say at this point, that's probably gonna be our highest pull, but you never know. We got an 84, maybe we can get higher. And uh, you know, the weekend was tough for the Leafs, but they came out, had a good showing. So, you know, you can't hate it. They performed well and uh, you know, happy with the, uh, happy with the weekend that uh, the Leafs had. And now if we can just get happy with the packs and get more than an 84. If we can see a purple in silver rerolls, that would be epic. If we could get a purple out of these reroll packs, that would be unreal. And I don't know what I would say. I really don't know what I would say. But, uh, you know, it would be awesome. <laughs> so, and if you didn't catch it this weekend, Gren won the North American GWC. So it was a good, uh, good outing. It was good performance by everybody. He, uh, he had to take Deeks down to win that one. So if you didn't catch that, that is the, the update on that, I would say. And uh, it was good. All around good tournament. I am just realizing now that we are probably not even halfway through. And this is a lot of packs. This is a lot. 30 is actually going to be quite a bit to go through. I might be around halfway through now. But, uh, but yeah, it's a lot. Silverberg. So we're still sitting at the 84 overall. Sarah Filler is the best card that we've pulled. And, uh, you know, maybe we can get better, mm, hopefully. I mean, would an X-Factor? I think an X-Factor, even though they're non-tradable, an X-Factor would be a huge pull, and I think it would be considered our biggest. We are on the Calgary Flames Steam Team, and there are a couple X-Factors that uh, would be huge pulls on the Steam Team if that is something that could happen. I've never pulled an X-Factor out of a uh, gold reroll. If you have, leave that in the comment section down below and tell me who you pulled. Because I'd be very curious to see if these reroll cards ever pull X Factors. I've never pulled one, but I hope someone has, and I hope someone's got some good news that it could happen. 82 Blake Wheeler. We didn't get uh, anything over at 84 yet. Still, 84 Sarah Filler is still the best pull. But uh, 82 Blake Wheeler. That's a that's a pretty big one. Pretty big one. Anyway, it's you know 16 silvers for an 82. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you if you think that's a good return. 16 silvers for an 84. That's a good return in my opinion. But, you know, all these gold players, if you're doing team builders, these two gold players get you a gold NHL player, right? So you could turn these two. 85 David Pasternak and the card gets better. 85 David Pasternak is right now our best pull in silver rerolls. Okay. Okay. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Can we get something bigger than an 85 David Pasternak? A purple would be very good I, I would enjoy it i would enjoy it indeed but uh yeah so like the question is what is the highest you can pull out of a reroll out of 30 packs right now it's an 85 david pasternak and i'm actually really happy with that because an 85 does a lot of damage when it comes to like an 80 and 82 nice a lot of damage when it comes to like power of collectibles or even event collectibles if you're trying to do like a team of the season card that's a big pull in that case. 82 overall. Okay, so we're getting some good 80s, 82s. You know, we're getting good in that area. But, like, you know, can we get a purple? A purple would be huge in my opinion. Ooh, Tanner Janot. 
All right, we're still clipping along here, and we still have not even seen the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Adam Henrique is the best pull out of that one. But, uh, you know, oh, oh, we are at the end, boys. We are at the end, boys. We finally reached the end. We've only got a couple more packs left, and what are we going to get? Jared Spurgeon's in that one. Not too shabby, not too terrible, but what else are we going to get here? Come on now, give me something big. So, so far, we still only have the 85 Pasternak and the 84 Sarah Filler, but it's good, you know, for science. This is, this is the stuff you need to do for science. You need to see what you can get out of these packs. 82 Robert Thomas. And what else could you think? Like, what else could you do, right? You, what else are you going to really do with that many silver cards? Some of these are gold chain trade ins, um, not many of them. A couple of packs of gold trade ins just to, to get us up to that 30. But uh, David Pasternak was a huge pull, 85 overall. Can't hate that. That's, that's an exciting pull. That's an exciting pull. And uh, yeah, all, all around, not terrible. Could have been better, sure. Could have been better, but could have been a lot worse. Like a lot worse. So yeah, guys, that was uh, that was 30 reroll packs. 84 Sarah Filler, 85 David Pasternak. Really, really solid, if you ask me. And uh, I don't mind taking the time to do a bunch of those packs. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment down below if these are something you do, if these are packs you do, or if this is something you enjoy. If you didn't enjoy it, guys, just leave in the comment section that, you know, this wasn't the most exciting thing and let's maybe not do this anymore because, like, these packs are fun to build. They're fun to do. They, they help you complete sets and you get big chances at maybe getting X Factors or 85s, 84s. It would have been really nice to see a purple, but unfortunately, I didn't get that opportunity. Maybe if you did these rerolls, you'd get a purple, but who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Until next time, ciao, ciao. All right, guys, we have yet again another one of the easiest goals to score thank you to total control and the michigan forehand michigan on the breakaway it never fails never fails it's nonsense because as you're coming in top of the circle when you press triangle it's simply just up and over even if you run into the goalie massive goalie interference before the pucks in the net but nobody cares in it goes goal easy goals boys triangle michigan easy goals I can appreciate a goalie making a massive save, but at what point do we need him to, to stop sitting on his bum and get up? Like, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. No? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's just overtime loss in champs. Whatever. It's okay. Felix the Cat let one in. We got to get him one back. And we did right there. Beats him. Let's go, boys. Big goal. Big goal.